My name is Claire Lean and I'm the founder and CEO of a charity called Save Our Supplies. Although my technical position is the CEO, in reality, I do most of the jobs as, as far as marketing, operational management, financial management, logistical operations, and everything that goes along with running a not-for-profit charity. SOS is a charity that collects the clean, usable medical supplies from our hospitals. Given the fact that we have such high medical standards in Australia, there's a lot of things that don't meet our standards, but are still perfectly usable in lots of different environments that aren't hospitals. So we, the majority of our supplies go to developing nations where they don't have the infrastructure or the means to be able to provide clean medical supplies for themselves. So we send over things for them. We try to go to where it's needed. So during the world war with Ukraine, our supplies went to them. During the floods in Brisbane and Lismore, we redirected our supplies to them. We're trying to keep up to where the need is. We also are trying to work a little bit closer to home um, and help a couple of the healthcare for the homeless charities by providing them PPE for their street clinics. I started my career back in 2008 as an endorsed enrolled nurse working in theatre. I then moved on to finish my bachelor's, which I finished around 2015. It was in my journey as a theatre nurse that I actually saw all the wastage that the hospitals were throwing away and decided to do something about it. I started the charity in the granny flat in my parents' backyard back in 2012 and after that it was mostly out of my house for the first four or five years of operation but the more the charity grew the more I realised that I needed to have other rooms so we work out of the rotary now so on Thursday mornings I go and volunteer for the rotary and basically all of our stuff is out there now because I didn't want to reinvent the wheel as far as the setup and the infrastructure is concerned because the Rotary does that quite well. So we work closely together. I also have Medline sponsoring us so they pick up our bins and um, do the deliveries and the pickups for us. So that works well too. The outcomes for our charity have can basically be put into two categories. So you've got your humanitarian outcomes and you've also got your environmental outcomes. Um, as I said, the lack of resources overseas, it means that they don't have the means to be able to stock things for themselves. But also closer to home, our environmental income, impact has been substantial. So since we started back in 2012, we've probably saved around 35 tonnes of landfill and CO2 emissions. The advice that I would give to nurses, if they truly believe in your idea, don't be discouraged when people tell you that nothing's going to change. It's always going to be the way that it's going to be. One person really can make a difference. And the nursing community and the medical community is amazing. So I would speak to as many people as you can and utilise the wonderful people in the medical field. It's absolutely amazing to be recognised as a nurse trailblazer finalist. I could have only dreamed that this ever would have happened. And I'm excited to be able to lobby the higher powers, like the higher levels of government to try and overhaul our medical system so they can see how much we are actually wasting and how much of a simple fix it is.